Welcome to the Grandmaster's Palace, built by Jerome Kassar in 1573. Since then it remains the biggest palace in Valletta, but instead of the Grand Master, now it is the office of the President. Grandmaster's Palace was the first to introduce the Galleria, the wooden balcony which has become one of the symbols of Malta. Under the Galleria you can find a peculiar detail, a figure which has been installed to scare the evil spirits away. The palace keeps many secrets and artifacts and we are going to explore some of them. Nowadays tourists can visit some parts of the palace, including the state rooms and the armory. The walls and ceilings are decorated with frescoes, telling the history of the Order of St. John. There are five state rooms accessible for the public. The tapestry room, the dining room, the Grand Council chamber, the ambassador's room and the pages room. The dining room is decorated with the portraits of the last presidents and governors of Malta, including Queen Elizabeth II. The ambassadors and the pages room are also decorated with the frescoes telling the history of the order of the knights before arriving to Malta. The Grand Council Chamber is also known as the Hall of St. Michael and St. George, the Throne Room and the Ballroom. The walls are decorated with the frescoes of Paris Matteo D'Aleccio, depicting 12 episodes of the Great Siege. These frescoes contain interesting details showing various episodes of the events of the Siege of 1565. The armory of the palace exhibits one of the biggest collections of the armor in Europe. It shows the evolution from the crossbows and lances to pistols and cannons. At the exhibition you can see the armor of some of the grandmasters, including Grandmaster Lavalette.
The Grandmaster's Palace incorporates two courtyards. One of them is decorated with a statue of Neptune. The second one is decorated with the Pinto's clock. Thank you for taking a tour to the Grandmaster's Palace. I hope you enjoyed it.